What's going on my cartelians? Cartel from hell back again. This time we're gonna have the complete review of this Sideshow Collectibles life-size Berserker Predator bust. And you know, I'm very, very, very happy to be able to bring this to you guys. You know, I've I've been waiting for this piece for a while. You know, it's supposed to be shipped out two weeks ago and it finally made it here. And Man, you guys, I was really nervous about this one getting here intact. So, I believe there was uh, 1,275 of these made. And it was released in either 2010 or 2011. So it is, it is a, a pretty old piece. And actually, this piece, when I, when I bought it, is uh, dead stock. And, you know, it's a uh, brand new in the box. It's just, it's been around a while. It's just been sitting in the box waiting for somebody to open it and appreciate it. And, uh, <laughs> I'm just, really, you guys, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. And I'm very happy to have this one. You know, I didn't really think I was going to get, um, too heavy into the movie pieces. But, you know, it's just. To limit yourself from a piece like this, it just it's not a very smart thing to do. You know, the, the level of detail, the level of, of quality, you know, the, the size, the presence, um, the coloration, the paint application, the weight. You know, everything about this piece is, is super quality. You know, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, leveling up here, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, look at this, you guys. How how could you not want this in your collection? You know, it's it's absolutely amazing. You know, if they had another life size bust for the Predator line available from Sideshow right now, I would definitely pre order it. You know what I mean? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'd be clicking that button for sure. Um. You know, I, I hope that if they do, they would be able to match the same quality that they were able to uh, to give us back then. But, you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty much a crapshoot with that one. You win some, you lose some. So, we'll see. Uh, I will definitely be uh, picking up some more Predator busts, though. I'm really digging them. They're just, they pack so much. And, you know, it's, I'd be stupid. I'd be stupid to not uh to not pick these up. Really. And I mean this one is is actually, you know, probably my favorite predator bust and to be able to pick it up for such a good deal is uh <laughs> you know, it's unbelievable. I, I, I can't believe it you guys. I can't believe I was able to get this one at such a good price. You know, I got it for uh seven ninety nine. They retailed for eleven ninety nine, so twelve hundred dollars. So that's already four hundred dollars off. Um, the only thing is with this statue, you guys, if if you're getting ready to pick it up, try to get it um, from somebody that has it in hand. You know, a local pickup. Because if you ship this thing, and I mean just just inside of the U.S., I'm not talking about you know uh, international anything like that. I'm just talking about in inside U.S. If you ship this to somebody, it's going to cost you about $400 to $500 just for shipping. And that's just because of the pure size and the weight. The shipping weight on it is 122 pounds and it comes on a pallet. So, you know, that's definitely something that you have to take um, into account when you're thinking about picking this piece up is the size. And it, it was so big, you guys, that I wasn't even able to fit it through my front door. You know what I mean? So, and definitely, if you guys haven't uh, checked it out already, I've already done an unboxing of this statue and, uh, you know, the assembly and everything like that. And to pick this, uh, the box up of this statue and put it on this table, it was a feat all by itself, you guys. It was freaking crazy. Um, to do it by yourself, I don't recommend it. That's the way I did it. But if you if you can and you, and you have help and you're trying to review the statue and put it up on a table, 
try try to get somebody to help you because it's it's pretty massive and it's pretty heavy, and it's definitely an awkward uh, shape to uh, to try to put up on a table. I mean, the box is freaking huge. It's ridiculous. Go ahead and check out that uh, that unboxing, and I will um, be putting up another video of the 4K close-ups of this statue. So be on the lookout for that too. So you guys can see all the nice intricate details, all the paint apps, all the good stuff. You know, I'm going to get you guys in there really tight um, with some good lighting. And uh, definitely don't forget to check that video out. You know, because this, this video can only give you so much of the detail, you guys. You know, it's not going to give you everything. But one thing that I love about this bust is it just reminds me of the movie so much. And... It is the third Predators movie. Um, it, it, it's called Predators, and it's their latest Predator movie. But it, he just reminds me of the movie so much. I mean, look look how elongated his mandibles are. You know, they just they stick out so much, just like they do in the movie. You know, right right after he takes off his mask and uh, decapitates the other Predator. super long mandibles the way they sweep down like that oh it's so badass <laughs> this piece is crazy you know my uh my my collection my display area is in my master and my old lady was like i'm not sleeping with that in the room <laughs> oh man she was pissed off for a couple minutes but she's cool with it now she was just giving me a hard time. <laughs> yeah, you guys, this is freaking crazy. You know, the paint apps are really great on this statue. I love, you know, <laughs> I can't get over it, you guys. It's freaking crazy. All the different colorations and all the different spottings. And not only is this all painted on here, but it's all fully sculpted in here. So all these spots on this black section are all sculpted in there but then they have the paint spots on top and it's a really nice effect they've actually done all of them down here with an airbrush and then these spots all throughout the face are all done with the airbrush as well and it's all done really nicely um, but then these red spots they have uh, black lining around them and then white lining around them they're actually decals and I kind of do wish that, you know, they would have just gone with the paint on that one because, you know, I, I can tell if something's a decal. Um, it doesn't take anything away from the statue, but if you look at it really closely, you can just see the outline of the decal. And, you know, if you're going to have your whole statue painted, why not just paint the whole thing? You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it might have been a lot easier for them to put decals on it. That's most likely the reason why they've done it. A little more cost effective but I mean I would have rather it had been you know completely painted instead of them put, placing the decals on it because the decals you know they they actually pick up um, light and they reflect light so you can see them pretty easily and they don't really match the rest of the, uh, the bus but that's just a slight nitpick that's nothing crazy um, it's just something that I would have liked to have seen differently. Um, if you put, if you had somebody uh, put a lot of gloss and shine on this statue um, to give it a more lifelike appearance, you know, that would all blend in and you wouldn't notice that at all. But I'm not going to be doing anything to the statue, you guys. I, I, I think it's pretty much perfect and there's really no reason for me to change it. Um, there, there's a lot of gloss inside the mandibles. You know, I, I didn't think it was going to have that much gloss in it, but it really does. It has some pretty nice gloss. And one thing I was very happy to see about this statue, about this bust, um, look at all those quills. There's so many quills. And, you know, the way that they've done the quills is really nice because it's not just one color for the quills. You know, they are uh, gradually shaded from black to red. So it's not just, you know, a red quill or a black quill. It's 
a black and red quill that's gradually shaded all the way down. And the way that they have placed them inside the face sculpt, spot on you guys. It's, it's absolutely perfect. I really love it. You know, everybody says that, uh, you know, the one ugly motherfucker, but for real, it's kind of cute because uh, he's got a little dimple. <laughs> nah, really though, he is absolutely ugly, but you know, it's one of those things where um, it's very ugly, but very beautiful at the same time. You know, I definitely appreciate, you know, the design of the Predators. Very cool. I absolutely love them. You know, look at that cannon. That cannon is huge. It, it actually comes off. Um, so you can take it all the way off. I'm not going to pull it off though. I have no reason to. But it's really heavy and it's really solid. And I just love the, the way that they've sculpted it. And I love the, uh, the bronze paint that they've given it. And they've also made it look pretty weatherized. And you know, they have put a lot of detail on this cannon, you guys. Super sick. And look at these dreads, you guys. They're everywhere. And they're, they're fully sculpted. They're not rubber or anything like that. They're all polystone. And they actually, a lot of them, you pull them out. And you wrap you uh you know you take them out of the wrapping and then you plug them in when uh when you're assembling the statue but pretty much all this right here this is all part of the bus that is plugged in already and it's all uh you know secured in there and when it's shipped it all comes in like that but look look at that you guys they're all individually sculpted um some of them are um together you know bunched up together but for the most part they're all um, by themselves and the paint on them is really nice and just like the quills how, how it goes from red to black uh, gradually for the paint it does the same thing here it goes from red to black you know gradually very nice and all these uh, silver adornments on here are painted really nice as well I would have liked to see some of them um, you know more silver instead of instead of having so much black wash on them uh, just to make them uh, you know just a little nicer looking but uh, at the same time it's it is what it is I mean predator predator isn't going to be completely clean you know what I mean so I guess that part doesn't matter too much it's just personal preference and I really like how on all the armor um, it has a very uh, metallic bronze look to it, and it looks like it's all, you know, uh, handmade. You know what I mean? It looks like the Predators handmade it, and it has a lot of texture on all the on all the metal um, armor plating. Very cool. I really love the paint on this, you guys. It's very nice. Very nice. You know, I could definitely sit here and talk about this bus for a really long time. And I really like how they have this elevated base on here. I don't like it so much when they do it on other statues, like quarter scale statues and stuff like that. But with this bus, giving it a, a little bit of elevation brings it up to a really nice height. I mean, look at it, you guys. It's freaking massive. You know what I mean? It's it's really, really big. You know, it it pretty much, it makes me look like a small dude and I'm six foot tall. I know that's not massive, but you know, I'm not, I'm not a little dude. And uh, for it to do that, it's just crazy. I really wasn't expecting for it to be this big, you guys, you know. You look at the measurements and, uh, and you know, you think about it and you're like, yeah, that's big. But then when you get it in hand, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> shit is crazy you know and I'm just really impressed with it you guys I'm very happy with it very impressed with it and you know I can't believe I didn't pick it up sooner it's one of those 
you know? It's very nice. And I really like this, uh, this bronze copper effect that they've given on the base. Gives it a very nice metallic look. And then they've also packed in a lot of patina around this area of the base and this area of the base. And then around the rim. All the way around the rim. So they have three different sections where they packed in a lot of patina. Right here, right here, and then around the bottom rim. Very nice looking. And then they have all these different like predator looking glyphs on the bottom. Just like they have on the box. Really nice base. I definitely love it. You know this this statue, this bust has me wanting a full size, um, a full size life size predator in my collection. You know, if I can get my hands on one, I would probably pick one up. Uh, <laughs> That's crazy, right? But I, I don't even care anymore, you guys. It's it's whatever. I'm going to collect what I like, and I, I definitely like this. Not only do I like it, but I love it. And I, I'm just really happy to have it. You know, it, <laughs> it's really crazy. It's so sick, you guys. It's ridiculous. And the way that they've, they've even painted the bottom of his jawline and you know the way that it looks it almost looks like the bottom of a stingray it's a very soft look to it yeah this piece is crazy wow but yeah, those mandibles are just massive, you guys. Really sick. I really love the inside of his mouth. All of his teeth. His teeth are all clear resin. And they've really dirtied them up. Them up. They've given him a lot of tartar and a lot of uh, plaque to make him look really nasty and gnarly. And then they've also put stripes on them as well. Really sick. There's just, there's so much detail on this one, you guys. It's so big. There's so much going on with it. I really love the design in his crown. How it's, how it's like inside out. And really nasty looking. It's almost like he has his brain exposed. It's really cool. I really love the way the eyes look. I do wish that the eyes were acrylic eyes. The eyes are actually only a decal. But it would have been really nice to, um have some really nice lifelike acrylic eyes. You know, they have the clear resin, the translucent resin on the teeth. So it wouldn't have been too much more for them to do the acrylic eyes on this one. So you know, that's pretty That's pretty much it for uh, things that I would have liked to see changed on this. It's just the eyes and the decals, the spotting, the decals on the top. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's really not a deal breaker. It, it doesn't make me not want the statue you know so I guess it is what it is on that one and I'm just I'm so happy to have it I can't say that enough I know I've said that like a hundred times already but whatever it's not a big deal I really love this one you know, the way that they've done the mandibles too, you you get you really get the feeling for the skin stretching over the bone inside the mandibles. You know, they, they've given the skin a very, um, you know, it, it really looks like it's gripping the bone inside the mandibles. It, lo it looks very lifelike, you guys. It, it really does. And my, ki my kids come in here. And you know they they want to act like it's not scary, so they want to be you know big and brave and come up to it and be like, "Daddy, I'm not scared of it," you know. But <laughs> I know it's a little scary, so 
That's, it's really funny. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to torment them with it or anything like that, but um, they definitely like checking it out. Teeth are really sharp. Oh my God, you guys, it's, it's a really great piece. Uh, you know, if you're uh, if you're on the lookout for it, pick it up. Try to get it for a good price. Try to try to get it for local pickup. Try not to pay those crazy shipping prices because it really is ridiculous. You know, four hundred, five hundred dollars. That's no joke. You know, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this uh, life size bust, you guys. I really appreciate you guys coming and checking it out. I definitely love it. I'm very happy to have it. And I'm very happy I was able to share it with you guys. If you guys haven't checked out my channel before, go ahead and subscribe. I have a lot of uh, unboxings that I do with statues and other products as well. And uh, I'm definitely going to be putting a lot more videos out there. And, you know, I pretty much just started uh, this channel. And... You know, I, I really have a lot of content that I have planned for this channel. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, thumbs up. Got to put the thumbs up. Got to give me some love. All right, you guys. Cartel from Hell. Catch me if you can on the next one. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.